Hi guys and welcome back to another video uh, on our series on creating virtual assistant using Python. Okay, so what I did in the last video, uh, I just now created a new a branch to the project uh, for each branch, uh, for each uh, version we're going to have a branch. So I'm going to go to my repository now and I should see the other branch which is the 0 0.2. Okay. Uh, which we're going to change now. This is going to be, this is the second video, so this is going to be the second branch. So, uh, in this video, we're going to talk about speech synthesis, which should be fairly simple, okay? Uh, let's go to HiPy, and let's type speech synthesis. Uh, speech, synthesis speech synthesis is something that is fairly uh, easy to understand, okay? Um, let's go some libraries here. We're gonna, we don't want to use them. We're not, we want to use something speci specific. So let's go back here and search for speech synthesis to see what we got. Okay, I'm gonna give just a little overview of what we have. So speech synthesis is basically um, transform text into speech, uh, something that's very useful. Especially if you want to use, uh, if you want to have um, the computer to talk back to us. So, the library that we're going to use is called Hi TTSX. Okay, so we're going to use this library fairly new, uh, have a new update. Let's install this. Let's come back here, install this library. Let's go to requirements. Let's uh, paste. Actually, I'm going to paste the top bottom here. Here. Copy. Paste in requirements. Equals equals. I'm going to go to the GitHub. And let's go. So, the main point of this video is basically to add speech uh, synthesis to the project. Let's go adding. Adding. Uh, speech synthesis. Okay, adding uh, the capability for the system to talk. Okay, basically this. What we are pushing now? Okay. So, uh, if you if you wanna tr uh, if you wanna see the documentation, just Go to copy this. Let's create a new file here just to test. Let's create a ts.py and let's paste. Okay. We're going to run this uh, file quickly just to see. Uh, let's go back here. CLS and Python text test slash tts.py. And we should listen. Uh, actually, we should hear uh, the computer saying, uh, "I will speak this text." Wait. Interesting. We didn't got anything back. Um, I don't know why. Let's let's go back here. Let's see. Did it call in it? Yeah, I indeed did. Mm, okay, let's see what we got. We should hear something at least. Let's let's um run try here. Wait, do I have this file? Let me let me see, guys. I'm passing the path correctly. CD test. Dir. Actually, dir. Python. PDS.py. Yeah, we don't see. We don't seem to be running the the program correctly. Let me, let me try to figure this out. So let's go to 
the tutorial and see what we can get. Let me see volume, voices. Let me get the voices. So let's uh, print the voices that we have. I'm going to try to fig figure this out. Let's run again. This file. I will speak this text. Hmm, this is interesting. If I remove this, what will happen? Let's remove this print function. Run again. I will speak this text. Okay, now it's working. So we got this um, um, uh, code just to test. Let's go back to main. And I'm going to add a function here somewhere, maybe before with speech recognition part. Speech recognition part. Uh, let's add this speech uh, synthesis before because we're going to write a method there. We just need to copy this and paste here. Uh, I want to move this. Okay. And right here, we wanna we wanna create a method called speak. And let's pass text. And let's um cut this. Paste here. Okay should be fairly simple now. So every time that we call the function speak, the computer will speak. And to prove that, uh, instead of uh, calling the function print rec result, we're gonna go with speak rec result, okay? Uh, let's actually, let's get the output um, text equal this function. And let's do print text and speak text okay text is the speech uh that was recognized from the vosk api let's run this i'm gonna go to github let's commit switch to origin and we're done let's run this now actually main.py right main.py I will talk back. Result. CONF 1.0000000. Okay. And 1.320000. Okay, okay. Start 1.170000. <laughs> Word. R. CONF 1.0000000. And 1.440000. Start 1.320000. Word. U. CONF. 1.000000 okay, it's gonna take and 1.8300 sorry guys i just muted uh it's gonna take a while until it runs it's com it's command that command i need to wait a little bit until i can continue it's it's still uh talking i need to go okay 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 it's done so let's go back Actually, I want to extract the the text, right? So I don't want to run this comment right now. I want to try to extract the text. To do that, I want to do um text equals uh text and result. Let's see what we got back. Let's print text to see what we what we can get from this. Uh, if th we don't get this JSON file, we're gonna have to do something different. Hi. Okay, we don't we don't get the result. Let's see type of text. So let's see the type of text to see what we have here. I don't think it's a JSON file already. Is it? Hi. Okay, this is str. So text is a string we need to convert. Okay. 
So text is a string and text actually result let's let's call result result so result is a string convert it to a json or dictionary as you wish as you wish let's go result equals let's input import import json import json let's do json dot dumps result and let's see let's run now hi text not defined okay result let's go and see the output hi hello okay it's still a okay it's still str things loads right loads let's try again hi hello how are you okay now we are we good let's go to github converting uh output result to a dictionary let's commit this with charge uh now we're gonna go with result i think we have text right and let's see what you got what we got here testing speech recognition okay we got the text back let's now wrap all it up uh, in the speak method we could do the result and then text to speak what we said and let's go one two three one two three four five six okay input overflow overflow what this means let's try i don't know what this exception means i need to figure it out okay here we go okay here we go how are you my friend how are you my friend i'm trying to repeat what i'm saying but i don't know why i'm trying to repeat what i'm saying but i don't know why okay this is cool let's go on continue okay this is go let's go on continue okay uh input input overflow okay we need to figure this out guys uh, i think this is going to we got an issue here um let's go to some minor minor changes changes input input overflow to fix okay let's go and commit this code so basically the code is running i think we're good now uh we've accomplished the thing that we were trying to accomplish which is speech uh speech synthesis with pi to the x three okay so and the next part is going to be some sort of ai uh, we're going to have to talk about that in the next video so uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. I uh, hope you guys have a great day and see you soon.